Well, hello, my friend. Welcome to Breakfast with Sergio. In today's episode, I'm visiting Chicago Art Source. Come with me. Let's check it out. Well, my friends, I'm here with Michelle Ruiz. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Sergio. Thank, thank you for having us here today. Thank you for coming. Absolutely. Super happy to be here. My first time here at the Chicago Art, uh, Art Source, so pretty excited to see all the work. Something that I really in love here is that, uh, which is not typical from our consulting places, is that you have also an art gallery. We do. And that's where we're at right now. Yes. How amazing. Yes. Now tell me a little bit, Michelle, about uh, the business here, how long has it been around? Absolutely, mm -hmm. yes. So Chicago Art Source, um, we've been around for, I want to say, a little over 21 years. Um, wow. We have two divisions. Okay. One is the gallery, which the, that's where we're at right now. Mm -hmm. um, the other division is the art consulting division. So we have a team of art consultants mm -hmm. who go out and look for bigger jobs. Okay. And these bigger jobs could be a hospital, a hotel, um, a luxury, I don't know, condo building. Mm -hmm. Really, I feel like it, there's a huge array of clients no, that we serve. Yeah. Um, and they're all looking for some kind of art collection of some sort. Right. So um, that's where we come in. Mm -hmm. um, we, as in the art consulting team, mm -hmm. and then the project managers, mm -hmm. um, and we kind of review the space with the clients. Okay. So you actually go to the site? Or sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. sometimes the site hasn't even been built out. Oh, okay. So um, and we get really excited when we are brought in early, you know, mm -hmm. to these projects because that's when they're actually considering a healthy budget. You know, that's right. when we could actually present like this is this could be a really nice space right. with a nice collection. Um, right. We could highlight your space with a nice collection. Mm -hmm. Time there are times when um, we are brought in at the very last minute and we have a very little budget to work with so we have to be very creative and strategic okay. Okay. Um, with sizing um, and sometimes they could only afford maybe one or two originals and everything else has to be like limited edition right or okay. you know like we, we do get creative so that's the part where you guys come in and help the client with their budget figure out what they can can't get and yes. sizes <laughs> absolutely types of work yeah even placement too okay. sometimes um, consultants um, kind of guide the, mm -hmm. the client um, and tell them, hey, you know, this wall here would be, mm -hmm. you know, better suited for art rather than this wall that you right. had, you know, mentioned early on. Mm -hmm. So we kind of focus in and mm -hmm. um, evaluate the space to really okay. see, okay, like how can we make this right. look the best? for exactly. you and you know whoever is going to be in the space awesome yeah. love it and so for example you know as as you go and work with a client on a typical project yes. then uh, the next step is to go and find out right so tell me about that process yeah so um that's basically what i spend most of my days doing is discovering okay. and searching um artists um so I'm online a lot looking, <laughs> yeah. um, especially if, you know, not everyone that I work with is local. Right. So if I'm looking for something very specific, mm -hmm. um, I'll, I'll spread out. And um, what helps me also is going to art fairs, mm -hmm. you know, it could be in New York, it could be in Miami. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's also other, um, I want to say like creative agencies that they okay. have, you know, these great libraries mm -hmm. of artists that they work with right, and their right. library could be public so I could also browse right. okay. you know um, Saatchi is also a great way to discover right. artists um, how about social media do you use a lot of social I sure do <laughs> yes um, so I do use Instagram very often mm -hmm. so um, hashtags have been very a thing important. for me actually so hashtag Chicago artist hashtag <laughs> a Delaware artist you know so that but not everyone engages though right. you know in those right. specific mm -hmm. things but like i'm, I'm it helps it and, does help and that is great you mentioned that sorry interrupted but uh, because i talk a lot about about you know social media in terms of you never know who's watching you never know who's yes. on the other side you, and sometimes you know artists say well you know nobody's commenting or liking but it doesn't matter you know you're right you never know who's watching i'm sure you're not commenting on people's posts as you're looking around right you're because you have a job to do you're looking absolutely for what you're looking for. 
Yes. I don't important. have that much time. To come. <laughs> I wish I could because I come across so many beautiful things. Right. But what I am doing is I create mm -hmm. collections on Instagram. So okay. they're for my private, it's my private archive too. Very Aside cool. from what's at Chicago Art Source, we have our own archive that's mm -hmm. internal. Mm -hmm. And um, so I'm always saving images. I'm like, you know what? I know I could use this for another project. I don't right. have anything at the moment, right. but I know I could circle back around mm -hmm. and include this artist some way, somehow. Right. So in the process, once you find the work that you're looking for, then do you present that to the client? Uh, normally, you know, different sizes, types and things like yes. that, that you kind of narrow down to? Yes. Um, with um, clients, we normally start with a, a catalog that just incorporates all sorts of styles. And this is for a client who might not necessarily know what they're looking for. Yeah. So this is like a discovery phase, you know? Right. And we are um, just sharing, like, this is, this is, these are the artists that we have relationships with. Yeah. Um, and also here are other artists that we think might be interesting for you to consider. Okay. So it's a catalog that's a digital mm -hmm. and um, these, it could be hundred pages, 200 pages long, you know, just right. of, of imagery. So they could mm -hmm. actually, you know, take the time and s we want them to be thoughtful too in their pr process. So it's like yeah. out of the gate, we're always, giving them a healthy catalog to review. Right. Right. Um, once they narrow in on mm -hmm. you know, pieces that they're gravitating to, we'll then narrow in our search. I'm like, okay, yeah. we know exactly mm -hmm. what you're looking for then. So we'll mm -hmm. build on their likes. And I assume it's not always that specific work, but sometimes you also do work artists on commission base. That they say they want something, but it's not the right size. So yes. It's an installation for a larger public project or things like that. Yes. Um, we do a lot of um, commissions as well. When I say do, I should say orchestrate, orchestrate. initiate. Yeah. <laughs> um, and those are really exciting for me yeah. um, because um, let's say, you know, we're looking for a piece that, I don't know, nine foot wide and five mm -hmm. foot high and we could get really, you know, we could get really, I think, creative and right. it could be a fun experience between, you know, artists, myself, and then relaying, you know, some ideas to the client. Right. So, um, and I feel like the artists enjoy that as well. Some, mm -hmm. I've come across some artists that are not open to commissions, which I totally right. respect. Mm -hmm. um, but when um, an artist is open to that, I feel yeah. like we can have a lot of fun. Very cool. You know? yeah. Awesome. Well, Michelle, you've been so awesome for kind of helping us understand how this works, how this business works. Now, the big question that a lot of artists have, yes. you know, of course, especially as watching this episode is, so how do I get in, right? How can I get in front of uh, art consulting firms, people like yes. you? And what would be some of the quick uh, tips that you can give some of our artist friends watching breakfast today, you yes. know, that they can use in their artery? Yeah, I feel like one is identify the art consulting firms that you feel like you would, you know, want to mm -hmm. build a relationship with. So um, there is a website that I came across recently um, the Clarion list. Mm -hmm. Actually, this is something that I found extremely helpful and I want to recommend it to every artist there out go. there because this is um, a platform where it offers all sorts of art services for our mm -hmm. industry specifically. Mm -hmm. And I've noticed that there's a list of art consulting firms on there across okay. the US. Wow. So once you go in and you know yeah. start identifying maybe you know a few firms that you feel like, hey, I Mm -hmm. Their work that they represent kind of, you know, identifies and right. resonates with me. And I, I mm -hmm. think that my work could contribute to what, you know, they're right. doing. So you make that list. And I feel like in the past, and I think you've yeah. talked about this yeah. too, is like cre creating some kind of uh, artist press kit of some right. sort. Mm -hmm. So yeah. this should include your artist bio, your mm -hmm. statement, um, your CV, you should have right. a website as well right. because there are times that you know even me if an artist doesn't have a website sometimes I don't even consider them mm -hmm. because they're not taking the time to put in mm -hmm. you Great know yeah. this presentation for us because right. we're the ones presenting their work they right. should also put in the time right. to build out you know a nice presentation and, and for the public website. yeah updated website, updated website. <laughs> a lot of times when I'm curating I sort like what last update was like three years ago yeah. you know, what's the artist doing right now yes yeah so sorry <laughs> no that's that's a perfect point um and I feel like that's really important mm -hmm. um we take our jobs very you know like we take pride in the, right. what we're putting together exactly. and I feel like the artist should you know have the same energy mm -hmm. and the same you know like just meet us there right. um, with the same information because we want to include you 
Mm -hmm. um, so you know, help us by yeah. Ready by putting me. you know a, a good, I guess a good yeah. front, a good foot forward <laughs> <laughs> good. with great information. Yeah. So, so when the artist use. finds, let's say, a uh, some art consulting firm yes. that he or she wants to approach, what yes. would be the next step? So. Um, I would check out their website to see if there's mm -hmm. a formal submission mm -hmm. guideline, let's say. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes they do offer that. Okay. Um, to give you an example of Chicago Art Source, um, I, we do have guidelines just for the gallery at this point, mm -hmm. not for the consulting end. Okay. However, I always tell people that it's okay to either call mm -hmm. or um, email us. Mm -hmm. You know, um, We do have a general email, um, email address. And you could present, you know, your work, and it, it'll be like a formal introduction of yourself mm -hmm. and what you're doing and what you're working on. Um, I'm open to that, and also LinkedIn too. I right. I connect so to right. so many people on LinkedIn, mm -hmm. um, and that's been like a tool that I've been using for a very long time. Right. Um, I feel like Facebook might be a little too personal, mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, I feel like LinkedIn is still professional. Mm -hmm. Also, if these our consulting firms are local and let's say they have events, you know, they're open to the public, go in the space, check yeah. it out. Um, even see, you could, you can call and see if, you know, anyone there would be open mm -hmm. to an appointment. Mm -hmm. I know sometimes that could be a little um, time consuming, you know, on both ends, mm -hmm. but um, that might well, be well, an option. Yeah. Um, but I feel like as of recently, I, I do get a lot of emails. Mm -hmm. And they are filled with press kits, and I really appreciate that because I then save those press kits and any imagery sh shared with me. Is that resource for you? Yes. Right. So we have an internal library that we That's basically, great. I dump all that stuff in, <laughs> and you know this library continues to grow. Right. That's amazing. Yes. I, and I found sometimes as well, like if you go to the Instagram account of the art consulting firm, they are very good at kind of showing the clients. You know images of how you know the different oh, clients yeah. they're working with so that's also great yes. you know, to see how each of those companies you know and the type of clients they're working with and Absolutely. i know you guys have a great uh, instagram page yeah and another thing is um when you're looking at these different art consulting firms um, check to see if they have any case studies on their website. So mm -hmm. this case study mm -hmm. usually includes past work or past projects mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. have been, a, you know, completed and a complete success usually because we're showing them off, right, on our <laughs> website. So take a look and see what the presentation looks like um, because yeah. that also gives you a sense of just our track record. Awesome. Um, yeah. Well, Michelle, you've been so awesome. We're running out of time. Here for breakfast with Sergio. Thank you so much for uh, opening your doors and uh, sharing you. a little bit of what you guys do and how our friends can also who are interested on art consulting and, and approaching art consulting firms. Now they have some resources that you have shared. Yes. So thank you so much. What is the website for Chicago Art Source and also the Instagram page? Sure. It's ChicagoArtSource.com. Mm -hmm. um, we recently rebranded. Okay. And this was very recent. So the gallery is now called Gallery 1871. Okay. So I feel like Gallery 1871 might be also an active um, page, which will think they're both the same thing. Awesome. Um, yes. Cool. Well, thank, thank you so much, Michelle. Thank, thank you for you. having us. Thanks, my friends, for watching. Please share this episode with your friends, and I will see you in the next episode of Breakfast with Sergio. Have a great day. Goodbye.